Hi guys, um, I just wanted to show you a few different things I was getting uh, requests for. One of them, Tanner said that he couldn't find burger buns in the store. So I did the butter braid recipe, which I'll post on Google Classroom and on our Instagram page. But the dough is really nice for rolling things out. And I haven't really gone over rolling buns out with you guys. Uh, remember when you guys are cutting your dough, you need to cut it, not rip it. Um, these are four and a half ounce portions. So that's what these are right here and they're gonna proof to double, so burger size um, when they're all said and done. And I've egg washed them, so I have egg wash ready to go. So with that, you're gonna take it in the palm of your hand and you're gonna roll it around and you're gonna put some pressure on it and you'll start to feel it tighten up. So I'm kind of cupping it and rolling it. I'm not, remember again, giving it like a gentle massage. I'm keeping the palm of my hand on the table and just rolling it back and forth like this until it starts to feel tight and then I'll roll it out into a bun. And, and you'll see like a little pucker on the bottom like that. Another way I've learned how to do it is if you kind of roll it side to side and up and down. Side to side, up and down, side to side, up and down until it starts to feel tight. Uh, some people like this method, but see I'm cutting it off at like 10%. This, up and down, up and down, until it's like that. And then I'll just make it around like that. So then I'll give it a good egg wash. So the egg wash is just egg that I've beaten up. And I have a pastry brush just like we have in class. And get all around the outside. You'll see the drip marks if you don't. So those are burger buns for, I know Miss Hennessy wants to do bread. So I'm gonna re, I'm gonna go over the butter braids again, just the two different, um, the three strand and the two strand. Um, these are both, are all five ounce pieces. So five ounce strands. So for the two strand, the way you get it to this, you want all your strands to be the same length. So make a rectangle, fold it in, pinch it off and then roll. So you're rolling again like the baguette, fingertip to palm all the way through till the end, fingertip to palm. You want the ends to be a little bit tapered so it's not so bulbous at each end. So for the two strand, you're gonna make a plus sign or a cross. The one that's laying on the table you're gonna come up, high five it at the top, and cross it over. Same thing for the other side, come up, high five it at the top and cross it over. And you want them to be tight, but you don't wanna pull on it. So just keep doing that back and forth. It gets a little weird when it gets top heavy, so you might have to hold it at the base, but you're still going back and forth like that. And then at the end, you're gonna take all four pieces like this, Lay it down, karate chop it just at the end like that so all the strands are together and tuck it under. That will also go on a tray. And then for the three strand, I have them all rolled out. So you're just like braiding hair, you're gonna come at the top, karate chop up the three layers at the top. And these are all, the strands go one, two, three. So you're just going to go back and forth. So it all, every move you make, it always goes back to one, two, three. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to take the two and put it over the one. So again, I have one, two, three, and then I'm going to take the two and go over to the three. Two over one, two over three, and just back and forth all the way to the end. And you, again, you want it to be tight, but not like your hair where you're pulling on it because the dough will break. Um, so back all the way down to the end. I screwed up somewhere along there, but karate chop it at the end, tuck it under. Karate chop it, tuck it under. So then I'm gonna put it on the tray. Remember, it's gonna double in size. You don't have to go all four corners like in the kitchen unless you have convection ovens. So I'm gonna egg wash this. Um, 
let it proof for 45 minutes because my kitchen's a little bit cold and then it'll go in the oven at 375 until it's nice and golden brown or you take a thermometer and put it um, through the underside of the loaf in the middle and it should reach uh, at least 185 degrees. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.